Hi, my name is Glenn Guarino, and I'm a furniture artist. It's nice to be here in, at NJIT, and I really appreciate this opportunity to show my work. In fact, I've never seen as many of my pieces in one place at one time, and I have a feeling I'll never see as many in one place again. So this is a rare opportunity for me to introduce my art to, uh, to a lot of people. I'm often asked what I consider myself, and I consider myself a, a functional sculptor. That means that all of my pieces that I, that I do uh, have, a, have a, a function. So if I'm designing a table uh, for uh, a dining table or a coffee table, uh, it functions extremely well uh, in those capacities. But then when the table is not being used, I think it should be a piece of art that works with the rest of your art in, in your home. Every, everyone considers uh, paintings for, for the wall and uh, music for, for their soul. And I think the furniture you live with should play that same role. This piece here um, is actually an older piece. It's actually made out of one large plank of, of curly maple. And so, so the table is as wide as it could be because of the size of the plank. And the dark wood here, the, this is cocobola. Now interestingly, uh, a lot of my wood is rescued materials. And that I mean the cocobola, uh, I had access to um, kind of dig around an old dump next to an old mill that, that milled uh, materials all the way from the Civil War. And interestingly, um, hardwoods like cocobola do not, de do not decompose. They, um, they stay pretty solid. So I've been um, using the stuff I got uh, those, those couple years uh, a lot as accents for, for my pieces. Uh, I hope everybody can, can come down to NJIT. The show's going to be open till April 9th, and it's a great opportunity to see a lot of studio furniture in, in one location.